The sixth method is an approach to determining the price of minerals sold between related parties, companies that are part of the same corporate group. It was developed by countries in Latin America to address the risk that mining companies deliberately sell their minerals to related parties at below market prices to pay less tax. The sixth method aims to limit this risk by using commodity prices quoted on a relevant index, such as the London Metals Exchange, for example, as the basis for calculating sales revenue for corporate income tax. The main advantage of the sixth method is that a quoted price can provide a clear and objective point of reference for determining the related party sale price, preventing companies from engaging in underpricing. It also simplifies tax administration and can increase tax certainty for investors. Key considerations for countries interested to apply the six method are firstly, which minerals to include. The approach works best for minerals with quoted prices, base and precious metals, for example, as opposed to gemstones. Secondly, what pricing date to use. Typically, the date of shipment is easier to observe and harder for companies to manipulate. Thirdly, whether to allow adjustments to the quoted price for differences of grade, quality or contractual terms. The fewer adjustments, the easier it is to apply, but the further away you get from the transacted price. And finally, whether to characterize the method as an anti-tax avoidance measure or a simplification measure. The former makes it more likely to be accepted by tax treaty partners, which may be important for taxpayers seeking double tax relief. Overall, the six method presents an opportunity for both governments and taxpayers to get more certainty about how minerals are priced and also to simplify revenue collection. But of course, the devil is in the details and each country will need to think carefully about how to design the six method in a way that best reflects their context and their policy priorities.